Good afternoon. I'm home from school. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to give you a, a good update on the vegetable garden, and I want you to see the progress from last week until this week. So let me know what you think down in the comment, and you tell me how fast or how well you think everything is growing. So right here we have our kale and our celery. We have our tiny tims and some more celery. We also have the tiny tims right here in their own individual little containers. And these guys I'm gonna actually take in the house in a little bit. Um, the lemon balm, mm, I don't know what it's gonna do. I done cut it back. I might have to just go ahead and pull those out. The oregano, look at the oregano. It is so fluffy. I cut that all the way down and it's reblooming. My little iris is trying to peek up. I'm gonna have to move it from under there in a minute. I have my kale, collards, mustard tenders, and I think both of these are mustard tenders. I think they're doing very good to me. What do you think? And we're going to go quickly over here because it looks like we're going to get a little rain up here, guys. Which, that's okay with me if I can get through this video. So, look at those herbs. Since last time I posted, they have they are sprouting up really, really well. I think they love this, this climate. Look at the greens, guys. Remember me harvesting the greens? They're, spout, they're sprouting right back up. And we have the mustard over here, and the turnip green over here, the collard, the mustard tender right here. I'm gonna harvest this one this time. If I don't do it today, I will do it tomorrow. I took my snippers in, I need to snip some more stuff. Um, let's see. We have a lemongrass right here. And love lady that made a boo boo because I still don't remember what I planted right there. God forgive me. Turn up these are turnip greens. And we have our spinach, our giant noble spinach. Let me see if I can let you see. Oh, right here, these are giant nobles. So many leeks are starting to come up now. They're looking good. <clears throat> Let's see the spinach and I forgot I'm not gonna tell you no lie I forgot what I planted right there but I did plant something and everything is edible that's what I do know and I'm moving fast because I don't want to get wet oh let me show you just what I thought look this is a bell pepper plant can you see that? Let me try to see if I can. I've been waiting. It's been in hibernation and it's actually blooming. Okay, guys, over here, I pulled that sucker up, both of them, that zucchini and that squash. Number one, I can't tell you. I may, I may have made a mistake. I don't know. But it looked funny to me. It looked like it was getting some aphids. I was like, oh, no, you're not. And I have not sprayed neem oil or anything other than fertilizer on my garden in months. And I'm trying my best not to have to subject myself to that. Now, by chance, if I have to, then I will. Look, look at those greens. You see how they done bounced back since I last trimmed them? They are not playing. I took this, um, squash out as well it was hogging everything it just it started to, uh it wasn't i had like four coming in but they all end up starting to rot dry rot so i just said you know what i'm not going to deal with that problem over here where i had the sumter cucumber as you can see i need to pull that last one off i just jacked that up i'm not going to play with it it didn't want to do what it wanted to do so guess what he gotta go so i think i'm going to also clean this bed a little bit and get some of those leaves off because it seemed like the leaves was molding that's what they look like to me maybe because they're not actually blended in the soil so that's a key step to think about guys 
this banana pepper plant I just harvest about three banana peppers off today yesterday I actually took two off and the ones I did today I didn't expect them to be already ready and this one here is loaded back up so I'll be probably getting some off tomorrow with that over here look at the mustard greens and the, I mean the collard greens the kale I don't mind my kale looking like this because I'm gonna harvest them anyway um, if I feel the need to do any more thinning out, I will. These are the giant um, kale. Look at the cabbage. And I know I'm, I think I, I well, I'm almost certain I'm going to have to thin them out some more. The bok choy. Look at the broccoli. Now, I kind of trim like two leaves off of here. I'm going to watch this one right here. If I see any more little bites, then I'm going to chop that leaf. Uh, that's something I try to do is any leaves that look like they're not right, I go ahead and pull them off. There ain't no need to leave that on there. And I did check my plants. Nothing's on there, but it don't mean nothing's not trying to get on there. The broccoli right here, guys. Look over here, though. This is the mustard land. They are not playing. These these mustard greens are bouncing like they ready. Not ready to harvest, but well, I can harvest these. These mustard tenders are showing out. The cucumber, I got a couple more on there that look like they're trying to come up well form. This one have not laid me any fruit yet. So it, at this point, I really don't care. I'm probably gonna pull this out this weekend. I got an okra over there I might pull out in tomorrow um, after work. I pulled two. I finally got one off my red okra plant, which I'm excited about. I hear the thunder. And I try to leave them as long as they're actually producing correctly. They're starting to look funny. They got to come out. My bok choy over here is doing well. My kale is doing well. I have another watermelon. look like it want to come up, but who knows? I mean, oh, look. Y'all, tell me, is that a good ladybug or a bad ladybug? I don't know. And I don't want to take him off, and he's a good one. But I'm, I'm thinking he's a bad one. So he got to go. I didn't kill him. I just pushed him over somewhere. All of these. This is where my, um, this, this one here, the, the more thinner one with the red root. That's the um, moringa, and I have another one over here somewhere, so I'm waiting to see that one pop up. And once they pop up, that one I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to pop up, and I'm gonna probably shift that one over to maybe um, this blue one here. Everything that I planted is is coming up, guys. This is what this tomato plant is doing. Like I said, I did not take it off. Like I said, shame on me. And this pepper plant here is loaded as well. We're just waiting. They don't get too, too big. But tell me if these, tell me if that's a good color. I normally pick them when they're green, but I do remember picking some that's supposed to turn red. So let me know if that's a good color. Oh, shoot. There's a wasp. I need to get out. I'm sorry. Okay. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that update. Before I close it out, this is my asparagus bed. So we should have some pretty good rain. Now, mind you, I see something right there and I hope that's, that's gonna be a part of my asparagus and not a weed because remember, I didn't finish taking all those weeds out. Um, I know it wouldn't be asparagus itself but hoping that's the start of something developing. Uh, but if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have not, leave me some feedback. What do you think about my fall garden? I hope you think it's going well like I do. Again, have a great day, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell so you can always know when Love Ladies Garden is putting up a new video. Thank you and have a great day.